Hi, fellow travelers! Now, in this video, we are going to continue our trip around Rhode Island. We actually started this road trip in Boston. So, from Providence, we are heading to Newport, Rhode Island, which is less than an hour drive from Providence. What are the things to do and see in Newport? Where do you stay? And what is Newport, Rhode Island famous for? Hey, let's check out the sights, the food, the history, architecture, and so much more. So, stay tuned! Hey, welcome back to Angel's Video Diary, and it's me, your travel angel. Here, I share things to do in a city and provide travel tips as well. I also talk about my personal style and my travel outfits. This is your city guide to Newport, Rhode Island. Let's go! Okay, so we're finally here in Newport, and first on the agenda is lunch. And we found a place here called Anthony's Seafood. And so I got, well, we got the calamari steamers and then flounder and chips. So let's eat. By the way, everything was delicious. So I also want to check murals around the city. And there's one particular place that I want to visit because of the mural. And it's a coffee shop as well. And when we got to the coffee shop, which is called Nitro Bar, by the way. Well, this happened. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know that it was gonna rain. I should have brought a different coat and shoes as well. So I am not totally prepared for this trip. I should know better. I mean, it always rains whatever we travel, at least for one day. But you know, getting almost blown away by the wind was worth it. And here's why. And so I got the pumpkin spice latte and let's try it cheers that is really good i like that it's not too sweet and you could also taste the pumpkin and it also has an oat aftertaste or flavor because i added um, oat milk so yeah i really love it since it's raining we can't really explore newport right now outside so we're just gonna visit the a couple of mansions around here which is under newport mansions preservation society now we are heading to the breakers which is one of the most popular estates around this area so we'll see you guys there the Breakers was built from 1893 to 1895 as a summer residence of Cornelius Vanderbilt II. One of the famous things to do and see here in Newport are the Gilded Age mansions. And they have a lot here. And they're also spread out. And we're gonna check out a small portion of those mansions, which of course are the most popular ones here. Fun fact, the term Gilded Age was coined by Mark Twain, known for writing the novel Tom Sawyer. The Gilded Age was a time in history in America that created a class of the super rich. By the way, we got the membership admission pass worth $80 and that's good for two persons. And what's good about this pass is that you can come back anytime you want. Also, it's good for one year. Then it's unlimited as well. So you can visit the mansions as many times as you want. Make sure to check out the description box below for more information. We visited around second week of November and the mansions are already decorated with festive Christmas decor. And we just checked in to our hotel room. So welcome, let me give you a quick tour. And behind this mirror is the closet and it looks nice and cozy. It's spacious, so the bed is nice and firm. Okay, so we're just gonna head out to eat dinner. We went to Thames Street, which is one of the oldest streets here in Newport, and a great spot to find amazing food. And we found a place called Midtown Oyster Bar that dishes out delicious and fresh oysters. Then to celebrate our anniversary, we also got a couple of drinks. We definitely had a great time. Hey, it's day two of our trip here in Newport, Rhode Island, and the weather is pretty nice. I mean, it's cold outside, but it's sunny. Yes, it's not raining anymore. <laughs> oh 
So we just had breakfast at Nitro Bar and they have outdoor seating and good thing it's not too cold yet. So I ordered Avo toast. Edward got the chorizo and salsa verde wrap. It was yummy. So we just did the cliff walk. It was a pretty long hike but it was easy. It was also fun and interesting because you have a stunning view of the Atlantic Ocean. We also um, saw a, a bunch of people surfing. And then on the trail, you get to see some of the mansions. If you only have limited time to explore Cliff Walk, the best spot to start is at 40 steps on Narragansett Avenue. So we found a street parking and it looks like it's free from November 1st to April, what does it say baby? 30. 30. And FYI, if you want to trek the entire cliff walk, it will take you at least 3 hours. And we pretty much just walked as much as we can. It's also a place where you can appreciate the ocean, enjoy the sound of the birds flying around, you know, the waves crashing into the rocks, and the wind blowing on your face. And that's like the perfect day if you ask me. And so right now, let's visit Fort Adams State Park. Let's go inside. Fort Adams State Park is a large coastal fortification or a defense wall built to protect a place against attacks. They offer guided tours for $15 per adult, but you can do a self-guided tour and listen to an audio guide on your phone. An entrance is $7 per person. <music> If you're learning and enjoying from this video, consider subscribing and make sure to hit the bell to get notifications whenever I would post a new content. Right now, we are heading to Redwood Library and Athenaeum. Since we visited a library in Providence, which by the way, I heard has an Instagrammable interiors, so we decided to visit the Redwood Private Library and Athenaeum here in Newport. There's a large yellow chair outside the building, which is also a great photo spot here in the city. Redwood Library and Athenaeum is a membership library and was founded in 1747. we're gonna check out St. Mary's Church. So the church behind me, um, I don't think you can see it, it's actually there's a tree blocking it. That's a church that was established in 1828 and it was the first parish church in Rhode Island and that is actually where Jackie Kennedy and the late President John F. Kennedy were married back in 1953. Next stop is the Turo Synagogue National Historic Site which is America's oldest synagogue and it's also the oldest surviving synagogue structure in North America. Okay so what's next? We are heading to Whitehorse Tavern and it says there's a sign outside the restaurant and it says it's it's America's oldest tavern. Also it says on the website they have been serving customers since 1673 and now we are checking out Bowen's Wharf. It's a historic and very popular destination here in Newport. So they have quaint shops, boutiques, cafes, galleries, and restaurants in the area. And I heard that it's also perfect to walk around here in the evening. 
plus you can enjoy a meal a delicious meal with a magnificent view of the harbor speaking of food this is where we had a delicious lunch i mean no trip to newport is complete without eating some tasty and succulent seafood and so we're here at the lobster bar we shared a bowl of clam chowder now i got the lobster roll and edward got the crab sandwich and both were delicious but I definitely enjoyed the lobster roll. It's to die for. And after our mouth-watering meal, we went straight to Coffee Grinder that has a perfect view of the harbor. Well, we still have one more stop to go and we kind of needed an energy boost. Coffee and a great view equals the perfect blend, right? And now we are heading to see one of the mansions that's open right now. There are actually only two mansions that you can check out at the moment. Um, one, we went to the Breakers yesterday and we saw it earlier this morning. And then now we're here at the parking of the Elms. So let's go and check out the mansion. So what's the Elms? Well, it's an 18th century home. The house got its inspiration from the Chateau de Agnar in Agnar-sur-Seine in France. The mansion was owned by Mr. and Mrs. Julius Berwind, and Julius Berwind made his fortune in the coal industry. here at the Elms property and this is their backyard. Check it out. It is huge. If you want to add anything on this video, make sure to comment down below. And if I was able to inspire, educate, and entertain you, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified whenever I would post a new content. Hit the like button as well, then share it to your friends and family. Let's connect on social media that's at Angel's Video Diary. Subscribe to my blog, MyPurplePages.com. And remember, continue to spread positivity, and I'll see you next time. All right, here's what's next on the vlog. By the way, I'm doing a Christmas giveaway here on my channel soon, so stay tuned. Hi, fellow travelers, and we're now here in Hartford, Connecticut. This is your city guide to Hartford, Connecticut. Let's go! Music